Scott Madden, NewGoProBaseball.com, and today I want to talk about the catcher's footwork when he's thrown to second base. Okay, first thing with the footwork is when you start, when you set up, you want to be a little bit staggered with your right foot back. So if this would be even, straight with my toes here, I want to be a little bit staggered. So I'm going to have that right foot, I'm going to be dropped back just a tiny bit. Not too much to where I'm catching sideways, but just a little bit staggered. So I got this, I'm already opening my hips a little bit. The other thing is a lot of coaches say, you know, get up a little bit higher, get that butt up and everything. But when I hear that, when I see players trying to implement it, a lot of the times they get up too high and they're too big here. This is not a good stance. This is too high, it's not, doesn't have power. So you wanna be staggered and you wanna be in a good comfortable position, not sitting down on your, on your calves or your heels here, but up a little bit to where you're in a good spot to to really pounce up and you feel strong. Another thing is you don't want to set up too early. If you get the sign and your pitcher's standing there set and you're here like this, you know, these legs start to tighten up real quick. So don't get set too early. You can set up on your location here and then as the pitcher starts to come, you're giving him his sign and you're popping up, getting ready to go, okay? So don't set up too early. Now, as far as the throwdown goes, Depending on where the guy is in the box, you have to be aware of where your plate is because what you don't want to do is step on this plate. Because if you step on this plate with metal spikes or possibly even rubber spikes for you younger guys, chances are you're going to slip out, fall, make a bad throw, maybe hurt yourself. Okay? So you got to have plate awareness where you're at. You also don't want to be too far out when you're making your footwork because you'll get into that right hand batter's box. And if there's a batter in there, that could cause some problems. So you want to keep your alignment going straight. Now, for the actual footwork, going down to second, a lot of coaches will teach the step through with the right foot and then throw. I disagree with that. If you watch the pro catchers, that's not what they're doing, okay? They're replacing the feet. They're staying in alignment. They're gaining a little bit of ground, but mostly just replacing those feet and getting ready to throw to second. So, when they're here, they're gonna take this right foot and replace their left foot with it. The left foot's gonna clear first, and then the right foot's gonna catch up and, and replace that right there, okay? Now, you don't wanna get too high on the hop. You're losing time that way, okay? You're losing time when you step through. You're losing time if you're coming up too high, jumping, okay? It's almost like a quick feet shuffle. The back foot possibly may even drag a tiny bit, okay? That's how quick it's gotta be, low and quick. All right, for the hands, the arms, the transfer. A lot of coaches say go high with it, high transfer. I say don't go too low, okay? Because a high transfer, you can get jammed up sometimes if you're coming too high, okay? It's almost like you're jamming yourself up back there. What you don't want to do is not get too low, because if you get too low, you've got a longer arm circle. It takes more time to get the second. So what you want to do is just think, not be too low and be in a good position. Somewhere in here, chest, or just a little bit lower than the chest. I wouldn't go any lower than that. I wouldn't be by the belly. But chest, maybe a little bit lower, I think is, a, is comfortable for me. So, add all those things in, and you've got a good throw down a second. The main thing you want to remember is staying quick. It's all about quickness. Quick feet, quick release, okay? The faster you can get the ball out of your hand and in the air, the faster it's going to get there, okay? Obviously, you want to make a good hard throw be able to stay behind it. One other thing I want to talk about before we get done with this video is creating an angle. So kind of anticipate that pitch a little bit and create an angle with your body, gaining momentum forward, okay? And this goes back to the replacement of the feet. You want to replace that foot, possibly gaining a little bit of ground going forward, okay? And this will give your body a good angle, be able to transfer force through your release point down to second. So it's going to look a little something like this in full speed but I'm gaining my ground and getting my angle. So here we go, I'm setting up, coming up. Hope you guys like this video. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and then join the free newsletter at yougoprobaseball.com.